Yes, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. We have a video today where I'll be showing you uh, this tank in action and this tank in action, the Grill 15 in SU 130PM. And this is not going to be a review, this is not going to be a how-to type of uh, video, or maybe a little bit, because I want to talk to you about punishing the enemy. Why is that? Well, sometimes enemies make mistakes. And when enemies make mistakes, you should punish them. And I had two games which I quite like, which were maybe not monsters in terms of damage. This is uh, the Grill 15, as you can see. We are on Himmelsdorf, and uh, to be honest, Himmelsdorf is not a game I, or not a map I really like to be in when I'm driving a uh, a, a German gun like the Grill 15. Uh, why is that? Uh, I haven't got any armor. Or at least, uh, not much. You can bounce a shot on the tracks for, from time to time. But this is not a map that I like to have in the grill. But when I got this one, I decided to be a little bit more aggressive. Go up on this little ridge and lo and behold, hello red grill, we're going to shoot you once. He missed. Yes, I could have used HC, but I wasn't quite sure which tank was on that uh, cap. It, it turned out to be the grill. And I sure as hell wasn't going uh, gonna to reload. But then you have this guy rolling in. Hello WZ, once in your sight. Thank you very much. Uh, let the T54E1 run away. Thank you. And I'm just going to chill here. I could have been greedy. I could have gone for another shot on the grill. I decided not to do that. Because take a look at this over here in, in, in the middle. You see what's happening here? The grill is still on the cap. That red WZ is still over there. We see him. We see him. We're just going to wait. We're just going to wait. going to pre-aim. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. And wait a bit more. He's rolling back. And boom. There we go. Thank you. 699. That's what I meant with punishing the enemy. He got a bit greedy. And I am just rolling back now. Because I noticed that the T62A on our team was going to go down. I want to go forward and shoot this guy. Oh, that's unfortunate. Bad shot by me on the front plate. I thought I could penetrate that front plate, but uh, it, you can see I could not. And this guy is making a bad move as well. Where we go, 1065 in the side. And now I can, now I can afford to take a shot. Because he killed our T62A, he killed the FE. That means that he is down to... A one shot for me. And what I did here is not spectacular. I know that. There will be people who will not like this type of content because it's not epic. It's not OP. It is not, uh, I don't know. There will be people who will just say, this is just a bad game, but this is so lucky. Yes, it is kind of because the Reds played it in a way that it just worked out. But let's face it, this is what Blitz is currently. This is Blitz 2020. This is three minute games maximum. It, it isn't like it, it used to be where people would just basically wait and, and sit in the back. And this guy was on a reload, I think. Or otherwise, why would he try to do this and, and just roll forward? But I got two kills here for 5,475 damage dealt. I didn't bounce a shot, but I think I kind of punished the enemy. And we outplayed this at WZ. We managed to outplay the grill. He got one shot off, at least one damaging shot. He managed to shoot, uh, or try to shoot us. He missed. And we basically won the game by picking up one position and then just holding, rolling back, and then making sure that we didn't get hit in return. Pretty efficient, as you can see. XP wise, it was, uh, what was the base XP? Here we go, 1326. Uh, Not brilliant, but a first class. High caliber as well. So pretty happy with this performance. This one was from uh, this weekend. I think it was on Sunday. Well, we're going to show going to show you later when we're in the end of uh, the video. Of course, then you can see the date, etc. Um, but this was from this weekend. And this weekend, we just had the end of gravity mode. And this map was on gravity. And I'm in the paper tank destroyer. I have a front plate which can bounce, uh, but this is a, uh, a glass cannon, the SU-130PM. I have a log on the back which looks really good, so nothing can go wrong. And I'm looking over here and thinking, nope, that is okay, what's happening? Good. Our T-34-3 
is not going towards the flank. We have a heavy going towards the uh, uh, camping position. We have the Cheeto rolling forward. T-34 Destiny is in over there. What I'm going to do here is basically sit here. And I'm going to pause the, uh, the, the replay for a bit once the first enemy is spotted. Just wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There's going to be a lot of waiting in this game. Why is there going to be a lot of waiting in this game? I'm going to tell you why. I don't have a shot on this tank, as you can see. Wait. Um, just a bit further. Just a bit further. We're going to try and shoot this IS, but we missed. That's unfortunate. We're going to zoom out, I think, and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to try to attack the IS. Yes, stop. What is happening here? There's three tanks spotted. Take a look at this. We have a tank over there. We have a uh, Schneider Schnitzel Tiger over there. The Cheeto SPG is over there. The M6A2 E1 is over there, as you can see. And our T34-3 has just shot and is in the middle. There's three red tanks. One, two, and number three is right over there. My main concern now is the fact that this flank is wide open. And I could go towards one of these bushes. I could do that. Um, but I don't have a fully traversable turret. I have really good camo rating, but I don't have a fully traversable turret. And take a look at what the Reds have. They have a P44 Pantera and they have a T34-3 as well. This is a 400 Alpha gun. 225, 225, 225 for the P44 Pantera. That's 675 plus 400. That's 1075 in terms of damage dealt. Take a look at my hit points. If they roll high... With AP, they can kill me if they're smart, and they will probably be. Then they're going to shoot uh, HE, and I'll be dead by just the, the magazine from the projectile and just one shot from the T-34-3. There is really nothing I can do but sit here. And yes, I know I should go forward, and I know nothing about self-sacrifice, self etc. But I don't really have the gun depression to sit on these ridges. There were tanks already going towards this flank, so why would I go there? Um, that means that if I'm spotted and the WZ is spotted, if that would happen, then it would be game over. We just have to kind of occupy this corner of the map and just wait it out. And it's going to work out just fine. I mean, I haven't got a single shot of damage off yet. And I'm just holding my fire here because I know the Reds are going to come from the side. The lever is down and it's just a matter of time now before there's a tank on the pop on our flank. See, there it is, enemy spotted. And he panics because he sees a light bulb, and that means that I'm gonna run away. Um, my team is not reacting, but I realize we still have the Tiger, we still have the WZ on the flank. Why don't we stop over here, take this little position, swing the gun over on the side of the tank, poke over the ridge. Is there anybody else? No, there's no one yet. Hello, Pantera. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to drop down once more, just a little bit. I have got gun elevation. Oh, there's another tank spotted. Going to shoot him. There we go. Thank you. 471 damage dealt. And now it's time to start punishing the enemy because the T-34-3 realizes I'm here. The Pantera realizes I'm here. Can I shoot him? No, a little bit of assistance damage. I bounce a shot. That's lucky. There was an HE shell. I think I bounce it on... I don't know, my tracks, my gun? I'm not even sure, but I bounced it. But the Pantera has been taken out. He was greedy, he decided to roll in, and I've got support behind me. There's two tank destroyers, plus a heavy tank. And this guy shot me once. He's punishing me. I'm down to one shot ball. I'm not running adrenaline just yet. I'm gonna sit here and poke. He's gonna come. Wait for it. Three, two, one. Boom! Thank you! 456, and he's down. That's how you punish an enemy. Stellar gameplay this? Brilliant, epic, OP replays? No, not at all. But you can be smart. You can be just a little bit clever and outthink your enemy. You don't have to go in towards the usual positions where everybody goes because the usual, pos usual positions, everybody knows them. Everybody knows the usual spots. If you will go to the usual spots, you are the one that could get one-shotted or just obliterated from a distance or maybe even blind-fired. And I do get one kill here. And in terms of damage, you can see it's 1,433. Uh, 1, That's not epic-like at all. But they have a bossy left. 
They have an IS still left. That's 400 alpha gun, 640 alpha gun. Two of our tanks are down to one shots. That would make it a three versus two. And let's face it, I'm a one shot as well. So as good as it looks, this is a full health IS. I'm going to try if I can shoot him, but apparently the shot is not available. So let's just wait for the Borsik. He is in the corner. Why do I know that? Because our medium had already gone all the way around the flank. And I can shoot the Borsik for 645. Thank you very much. He has a damaged gun and a broken engine. Just going to wait a bit. I'm not spotted. And suddenly I am spotted, by I think, by the IS once I fire here. That would shot missed. You can see the shell burst. Um... But this was just Assad waiting in the back. There was everything everything there was to it. I outplayed the, outplayed the enemy. I was smart. I stayed in the back because I realized our flank was falling. And this is only a third class medal. But I'd rather win and get a third class than lose and get a mastery. 2k damage dealt. 2,395 for the WZ, 2,267 for the Cheeto SPG, and we got 1,000 in terms of assistance damage as well. So, uh, I think pretty nifty. <laughs> I hope you agree with that. If you like this type of content or if you like my content in general, please support me by leaving a like, by leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you all on the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Bits Universe, thank you for watching. Cheers, happy tanking, and bye-bye.